Your God is no different than this God. Your God is not some different entity than the one that was protecting and watching over David. It's the same Lord who has has promised to preserve you and protect you and shield you and guard you. And there's nothing, there's nothing that you can endure that he is not aware of. There's nothing, however big, however small, that you can undergo, that you can uh, endure, that he is not intimately aware of. And there's nothing that you can experience that he is surprised by, that he's unfamiliar with. He's a God. You're all-encompassing protector who knows exactly the grief that you're feeling. Yours is a God who was made in the likeness of flesh. Jesus, the incarnate God. The word, as it says in John chapter 1, who is made flesh and dwelt among us. And why is that so important? It's because of this. We have a God who knows what it's like to feel human. All of the loss that you feel, he has felt. All of the betrayal that you feel, he has felt. All of the incredible turmoil and vexation and sadness and stress and grief. Your God has felt. He's felt it. To the nth degree. To uh, levels and amounts that you have not even fathomed. He has felt. You have a God who knows exactly what you are enduring. And he promises to protect you from it all. That's what makes that so powerful. You don't have a God who is in some ivory tower who is just yelling at you to get over it, to grin and bear it, to just brunt through it. You have a God who sits in the ashes with you. As one who has been in the ashes for you. You don't have a God who is unfamiliar with the losses that you felt. You have a God who is intimately aware of every single one of them. All of the infirmities, all of the struggles, he's endured them all. 